What's up, killers? It is your final girl, Mel, and this is my killer podcast. And today we are going to be doing a collection update. All of the special and amazing things I bought in the month of August. Yes. And if you missed it, I was just on the roundtable with Mid-Level Media on his channel the other day. I will link that live stream in the description box below if you want to watch it. We also went over all of our pickups for the month of August, me and a wonderful panel of guests. If you missed it, check out that replay. Ayo, killers, if Squish is your thing, don't forget to check out My Killer Podcast merch over on tpublic.com. Links are available on all my socials via Linktree. On my YouTube, Kill That Green Tree, my Patreon link is there too. That click will take you to my Linktree page where you can also browse all my other socials. Feel free to follow this final girl everywhere. At the top, kill that merch button and scoot scoot right on over to My Killer Podcast Tee Public storefront. Here is where you will find all available artworks including the OG MKP shirt. Check out these killer family members rocking that merch. Don't worry, the controversial No Slip No Dip shirt is still here, along with the exclusive pink retro Rad Pack sticker shirt, plus other super killer designs where you can customize to your liking. Ooh, if you are interested in other products, creep on over to the left where you will find plenty of other things. There are mugs in each of the designs, sweatshirts of course, and even stickers! Love me some stickers! There's so much more, so yog on over to my killer podcast at tpublic.com and see what's happening. Peace! What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new here, I am not only on YouTube, I'm also on Instagram, Letterboxd, TikTok, Patreon, and I have a Discord group called The Movie Room, which is just a glorified chat room, and it's amazing and free and fun, and you get to meet a bunch of awesome people. So join me on all my socials. And if you'd like to help support my channel because you love what you're seeing today, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and kill that bell for your girl. All right, guys, without any further ado, we're gonna go through all of the physical media releases that I picked up in the month of August. Hit me in the description below and let me know what you picked up. Did you pick up any of these? Did you pick up something that I should have? Did you pick up LA AIDS Jabber? Inquiring minds wanna know. Uh, this is gonna bug some of you, but I'm gonna do these in all kinds of out of order. So, sorry in advance. I picked up Scream Factory's Child's Play 2, but of course I also picked up Child's Play 3, and if I can find it in this messy stack, I'm so sorry, I did not put these in order. The first Child's Play. Yes, I did experience the outgassing in my physical releases. These do have that greasy substance on the inside right there. You can see my finger through it. I did not bother cleaning them. I just didn't. <laughs> I did watch them and the transfers were great. These movies took me down memory lane. It had been a hot minute since I watched the third one specifically and it was just a hell of a good time. I highly recommend checking these out if you missed out on them. Go pick them up. I also picked up Red Dawn from Scream Factory. I have not watched this one yet. I have not even opened it as you can tell, but I have seen this one and I remember it being a hella good movie. So I am looking forward to seeing this brand new 4K scan. Next up, I did pick up Men. I did watch this one. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, this movie is very atmospheric. It's beautifully shot. The scenery in this movie is some of the most amazing things that I have seen. This movie had me all the way till the end. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it, I do recommend giving it a watch so you can be traumatized with me. The end, it was not my favorite. I wish it, I wish it would have went a little different way with it. You know, that's just not A24 style. They like to give you the wig as they say. Men. Yes, I did do a letterbox review on this too. So if you want to kill that link in the description below and check that out, it is a written review with a star rating and all the things. If you want to see 
and dig a little deeper into my thoughts about that one. I also picked up the Steelbook 4K release of Heat. I have seen this movie. It is very good movie. I have been hearing controversy about the transfer, that it's extremely dark in certain areas. I have not watched this one yet, so I do apologize. Uh, I will let you guys know in my letterbox review of it when I do watch it, what I think of the transfer. Uh, from what I understand that maybe it was meant to be a little more dark. So the 4K is a truer transfer to what they originally were trying to do. I don't know. I will have to watch the special features to actually figure that out. But some people don't mind it. Some people liked it. So there's that. Do with that information what you will. I nabbed Flatliners. This is one of my all-time favorite movies from my childhood. Uh, note that I said one of them because I have many. The transfer on this was okay. It's not something to write home about. It's not going to be the, one of the greatest transfers you've ever seen. However, the movie itself is well worth it. The story is amazing. Do not watch the remake of this movie. Just Next up, I snagged Cat People. I believe I have seen this one, but it has definitely been a hot minute since I have seen it. I did open this one and there's no outgassing in this one. So they have since fixed the issue or I don't know what has happened with the Chucky releases, but I am looking forward to checking this one out again because I honestly, I don't really remember a whole lot about it, but I, I feel like I've seen it. I feel like it. So it's either gonna be, I watch this movie and I all of a sudden remember all the things or I'm gonna watch it and I'm not gonna remember shit because I've never seen it. I don't know, we'll find out together. Next up, I picked up Dog Soldiers and I am killing myself for this one. Oh. So I went into this blind. This was a blind buy for me. I wanted to see it because it sounded incredibly interesting. The artwork was interesting. The artwork on the second site release is actually what sold me on wanting to see this one. And specifically that image right there, I was very curious about. Uh, but because it was a blind buy and I had never seen it, I was a little worried about spending over $50 on the second site release of this movie because that's a lot of money to spend on a movie that you don't end up liking, right? So I opted for the Scream Factory release because let's face it, I do kind of want all of these releases anyway, but I watched it. I watched it and I absolutely loved it. This is a great movie. It's gory, it's thrilling. The werewolves themselves are just awesome. This, there's like great special effects in this, practical effects. It's just, it's a really good movie. It's really action packed and it keeps you on your toes the whole time. So I highly recommend checking out Dog Soldiers. I'm confident in telling you that the Second Sight version is gonna be the best option just because you get all of the extras. I believe Second Sight is the one that did the 4K transfer for this movie. So the disc inside of the Scream Factory edition is the Second Sight. 4k transfer yeah why not go for the better edition in my opinion but if you don't want to spend that kind of money get this one it is well worth it i did pick up the dario argento tenebrae uh i have not seen this one and i haven't watched it yet but i'm super excited to have it i specifically picked this artwork because i liked it better than the limited edition artwork hit me in the comments and let me know if you agree with me on that one i just thought this artwork was better i don't know but i have yet to watch it I, i've been hearing really great things about it so i'm super excited um keep an eye on my letterbox for my review when i do get around to watching it because people i do watch these movies i do i might not get around to watching them exactly the day that I buy them because I'm gonna be honest, my watch list is very long because of certain things that I have to do, certain videos I have to make, certain live streams I do. I have things that I got to watch first, but I do watch my movies, uh, you know, in case you care, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I did get the Giallo Essentials black box set. Um, I've been hearing good and bad things about this one. I heard that none of these movies are really essential, but uh, I also heard that these are the, this is the first box set that didn't have reprints of movies. The, these are brand new movies to Arrow. So I don't know, take that with, what you will. I haven't watched these yet, but I will get around to watching them also. 
but these box sets are super cool. They look really great on the shelf and you get three movies in there that all come individually cased, which is awesome. So if you like that Italian uh, slasher thriller-esque type of movies, these Giallo Essentials are for you. I also picked up Warrior, the steelbook. I was promised that it was worth it because this is another movie I have not seen. I am a big Tom Hardy fan though, so I am excited to watch this one and this is a very, very squishy steelbook. I did pick up some movies that were not released in August, but I did go back and decide to buy the Doctor Strange steelbook. I'm not, I'm not a Marvel girl. You guys know this about me. I do appreciate Marvel movies and I watch every single one of them that comes out. I do, I do. But I don't run out to the store to buy all of the releases, but I bought this one because it definitely has that Evil Dead feel to it and it just made me happy to see that. And last but certainly not least, I did finally get my replacement disc for Road Warrior. This is what they sent me though. <laughs> so I took my pictures of my Road Warrior. I took pictures of the UPC. I even opened it and took pictures of the disc and they still sent me this one. So I don't know if they just ran out of the replacement discs and just said, fuck it. I will send her this instead, uh, but whatever. This is what I got. I finally got my replacement disc. I'm literally the last person in the world to get it. All right, guys, that is it. Those are my August pickups. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, kill those comments and let me know what you guys picked up and what you're excited about. What was your favorite? What was your favorite release? What was my favorite release? Flatliners. Flatliners was my favorite release. Um, but what was yours? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you would like to help support me and my channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and kill that bell for your girl, and share me with your friends. If you want to further help support my channel, y'all go over to my Patreon and see what's crapping in over there. Because honestly, my Patreons are the ones that truly keep these things happening, these videos going, and they are helping support me in building and renovating a movie room so I can get out of the garage. So I can get out of the garage. I can leave the brundle flies behind. I can leave the crickets behind. I can leave the train behind. I can finally be in my house where it's a lot quieter and I can do more things. So thank you so much to my Patreons. The following video will showcase their glorious names and I appreciate them greatly. But until the next time we gather, have a killer day. Peace.